Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the Blackwell Legacy. Uh, it's been a week for you guys you know I spoiled you. since the previous episode. It's been two years for me, so oh, <laughs> quite a while. I've had to re-watch the old videos to see exactly what was going on, and I'm excited to get back into this. I really wanted to finish it for a very long time, so now is the time. Uh, I can't wait to see what happens in this one and the subsequent Blackwell games as well, because we're going to be playing all of them. I don't know if we'll do them all back to back, but we'll certainly do them on the channel um, at some point. So we were going back to our apartment, I believe, is how I left the last one all that time ago. <laughs> ah, yes, headaches. Oh my god, this really hurts. Sleep, that's all I need. I'll just type up the story and get to bed. Shouldn't take that long. Okay, makes sense. Is there anything in the trash can? I can't remember. I don't if we... need to take the trash out. It's not even full. I mean, it looks relatively full. Anyway, so we've got to type this thing up. Um, up here, we have got an envelope. Um, legal rights to take custody of your five year old niece with the death of her parents. You are the only living relative. Please contact our office and we'll start the necessary paperwork. Uh, this was back in 1981, so we read through all of these in a previous episode. Uh, we've also got these photographs here. Possibly father, mother, and Auntie Lauren. And then we've got some other photographs here. Um, we've got our notes, which basically lets us go through everything. So, Joanne, so we can connect things up here, so we're not going to do that for now. We've got all these clippings and everything. Can we watch? I don't need to bother. I don't get reception anyway. Okay, we can't watch TV. Cool little lava lamp there. Teddy Griff bear? Griff is fine where he is. Griff the teddy bear. All right, let's, um, let's do this typing up, because... Uh, write, write your article, do some writing, do research. I mean, she seemed to suggest just writing the article, right, because of these headaches, so... Right. No more interruptions. Let's just get to it. Done. Article's finished, picture is scanned, and I am done for the day. Nice. Bedtime? Ooh. No. What's... Why is the... Thing here blinking. What is happening? Uh. It's gone. The pain. It's gone. That was strange. It was like, like. Yeah, it's flashing. <laughs> what is that? The photo. Something is different about it. I almost don't want to look, but. Oh? What? No, no, no. I did not just see that. I am not going crazy. No, it's just the stress, that's all. Auntie's death, work, life. I just need a rest, that's all. Okay, what was that? Weird things are happening. That's a good line. <laughs> Meet your new life partner. Wow, okay. Well, this has taken a turn. So, Griff, long time no see. Those tricks. Right, thought as much. Black willed dames. Always sleeping. <laughs> You're always sleeping, and I'm always watching. Yep, that's me. The eternal chump. Mm. It's about time. Hey, nap time, Nelly. Wake up! What? <clears throat> Shall we try this again? No. Now that's not very polite. Go away! I'm afraid I can't do that, darling. Believe me, I've tried. No, you don't exist. Oh, yes I do. Look at me. This is not happening. This is not happening. Oh, brother. I am not going insane. There is nothing there. Could you? No! I am not my aunt. I am not my grandmother. I am not going to end up like that. Listen. Get out of my head. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Could you? Shut up. Shut <laughs> up. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> no, you shut up. You're going to listen. And you're going to listen good. I've been watching you all day, sweetheart. You know who I am. No. 
Yes, I'm not going away, so there'd be no point in beating around the bush. Now say my name. No! Damn you, you know my name, now say it. You're... Yes? You're... Joey? Good girl. You got it in one. Now turn around and look at me. I... Don't worry. I won't bite. I couldn't even if I wanted to. <laughs> Hi there. Um... Accepting response, unaccepting response, confrontational response. I mean, should we just be accepting, honestly? You really exist. Oh yes, live and in person. Although I'm not really alive. No. And I'm not sure if I can still call myself a person anymore. So who are you? I'm Joey Malone. And I'm the family spirit guide. Ooh. Pretty cool. What? They could be as the Blackwell legacy. They're all ah. passed down from one generation to the next. Like a family heirloom. First your grandmother got stuck with me, then your aunt, and now you. State the obvious questions, origins, reaffirm your sanity. Um, should we question his origins? Where did you come from? That's a long, long story, dollface. And we've got more important things to do. Why have you been haunting my family? Haunting? Is that what I'm doing? Maybe. That's a real ugly word. Answer me, why are you here? You got me, sweetheart. I've been wondering why me and why your family since this whole gig started. Must be some kind of gift your family has. A gift? You're a medium. A medium with a direct connection with the spirit world. And I, my dear, have the unique pleasure of being that connection. I don't... I don't understand any of this. Oh, you will, babe, you will. It took your aunt a while, but she got the hang of it. Your grandmother never really caught on. That's probably why... Why what? Why she didn't last long. Oh. Uh. But that's something we can talk about later. You felt something today, didn't you? Felt something? Yeah. You felt sick to your stomach. I saw you. I've been feeling sick all day. And where did it start? Um... I think... Didn't it start at the park? You mean... The dog run? Yeah. That's where we've gotta go. What? Right now? Yep, the sooner the better. But it's the middle of the night. So you've just had a nice nap. You should be ready for action. <laughs> I'm not going out to Washington Square Park in the middle of the night. Well, that's where you're wrong. If there's any reason behind this medium business, it's to take care of problems like your dog park. And we have to take care of them soon. So the deal with the dog park was something to do with the dogs not liking being around it, so they shut it. And there was that whole theory about there being like some sort of high-pitched noise or something. N Nishanti, I think, next door was going through that in the previous one. Brush off response, overwhelmed response, whiny response. I mean, I don't really like any of those, but let's brush off. Fine, we'll do it in the morning. No can do. We gotta go now. What's the hurry? Let me put it another way. Do you want to end up like your aunt? grandmother not really Was that because of you did you do that not me kid not me I didn't make him that way and I don't know what did but do you really want to sit around here and find out disbelief confusion acceptance oh, let's just accept fine let's go that's the spirit after you that was strange everybody just ignored you Am I the only one who can see uh, I'm you? guessing yep. yes. And hear me, so keep your voice low. Oh yeah, this is the spot. Can you see it? I don't see anything, can we go? Come on, this way. Hey, wait! What are we looking for here? Don't worry, I can't travel far from you. It goes against the rules, whatever they are. Now look inside there, and look close. Okay. What am I supposed to see? Just wait, it'll come. Oh, another spirit? Wait, I see something. Who is that? That's what we're here to find out. I'll talk to the spook. You can stay here. Okay. Now watch and learn. Why so down, beautiful? Ah, I'm a bit out of practice. <laughs> How should I handle this? Ah, oh, we're controlling him now! Be firm, be glib, be charming. Ooh, should be charming? Hey, don't be like that. If there's one thing I hate, it's seeing a pretty girl cry. Well, that didn't seem to work, did it? Um, 
I, I don't know if she's if, if there's like a, a right way to do this or whether it's just a case of she's gonna walk away no matter what we do um, I don't know should we, should we carry on with this so soon I thought we were getting along I feel like that's they all run so hard to hold on it's me it's me they won't stop Calm her down, try to make sense of it, explain your business. Okay. Wow, the music, okay. Shh, relax. Slow down, tell me everything. I'm here to help. Help, help. He wants me to help him, but I want to help them. Don't they know that? Who? Can't, can't. We run away. We won't run away. No. No, we're sick. He poisoned us. Got into our head and poisoned us. Whatever happened, darling, it's over. You do know that, don't you? No. I'm poisoned. Stay away or I'll poison you. Run. Run away like all the others. Mm, stand your ground. Charm her out of it. Give it right back to her. I, I feel like charming is his way of doing things, so... You're beautiful when you're angry. Has anyone told it you? It seems like to, it's, it's his character. No, you won't trap me again. Again? He made everyone go away. There is nobody else. You're him. Who? Him. Now look, darling, sweetheart. Leave me. Hey. Leave. Alright. So this is the real... We're going. Look, just sit tight. We'll figure this out. And we'll be back. This is the real reason the dogs won't come in here, then. Friggin' ghosts. I <laughs> get a straightforward answer out of any of them. What just happened? What just happened is we've got an unstable spirit on our hands. Good. Haunting that dog park over there. You wondered why the mutts don't like it here? That's the reason. There's a ghost haunting the dog park. That's what I said. A ghost. Sure. What am I doing here? <laughs> I told you. No. I really should go to bed. Hey, wait a sec. Yeah, sleep. I shouldn't be here. Oh, for the love of Pete. He can't stay away, can he? He's got to stay with us, so... <laughs> I guess wherever we're going, he's coming. Ooh, nice transition from night to day there. Day two! Uh, what an odd dream. Yeah, not a dream. As Good you morning, can see. Bright eyes. Uh, you're still here. Wouldn't be anywhere else. Has anybody told you that you snore? <laughs> Deny it. Throw in his face. Get suspicious. We do not. I do not snore. Like a chainsaw, darling. <laughs> I'd be a little hacked off if I actually slept. Hey. So this is going to be my life from now on. Pretty much, yeah. You're going to follow me around for the rest of my life. That's how it works, as far as I can tell. Great. Just great. Hey, it ain't all a bed of roses for me either, dollface. You think I chose to be shackled to your family for the last 40 years? Your grandmother refused to accept it, and look what happened to her. And auntie? She made a mistake. What kind of mistake? Hey, what is this, 20 questions? What's with the third degree? I wonder if we're gonna find out what got him tied to our family for the 40 years. That, that might be quite interesting to hear. Play sympathy, get suspicious, assert your rights. I have a right to know. No, you want to know. There's a difference. I don't have to tell you squat. Look, <laughs> this isn't easy, you know. You're a ghost? Fine. I'm a medium? Fine. My whole life is turned upside down? Fine. But you could at least meet me halfway. You've accepted it, you say? So far, yes. You've only seen a taste of it. Are you ready to go all the way? What do you mean? Ready to see what's out there. Ready to see what this is all about. I mean... I feel like we don't have a choice, but also it wouldn't be much of a game if we didn't, right? So... Yes. Good. Maybe there's hope after all. So what is it? I don't have to tell you. It's best if I show you. Here, take a hold of this. I can touch it? Yeah, the only part of me you can touch, unfortunately. <laughs> okay. It kinda tingles. What is it? The stuff of life. Or death. I've never quite worked it out. What now? Now you pull. Pull the tie? Yeah, pull. Okay. Oh, okay. 
Oh my god, where have you taken me? Relax, take your time. It's a lot to take in at once. What is this place? It's the doorway to infinity, darling. Out Ooh. there, in the distance, the next world. The next plane of existence. The gossamer threads that separate this world from the next. Whatever you want to call it. It's all out there. How did we get here? We're inside your head. You mean I'm dreaming? No, I mean we're literally inside your head. Remember those headaches you had yesterday? Yeah. That was your power awakening. Or to be more specific, it was this place forcing its way into your mind. Wow. Okay, let's push for specifics. So what does that mean? It means that you've got a spiritual way station in your head. I'm not sure I like this. Well, like it or not, we're here. So what does this place actually do? It's sort of a transfer point or node. It connects the mortal world with the next. You bring spirits into this place and then send them on their merry way. That's it. Well, there's a bit more to it than that. I thought as much. You see, many ghosts aren't as lucid as myself. Most can barely tell you their own names, let alone tell you what's wrong. Near as I can figure, they have to come to terms with their departure before they can actually depart. You dig me so far? Uh, yeah, I think I so. I think so. The ghosts don't know they're dead. Yeah, yeah, right. So we have to help them accept it. Once they accept their death, they are much more willing to move on. That's my job, see? I talk to the spooks. They trust me more because I'm one of them. You do the legwork. See? Anyway, I know you have some questions about this place, so go ahead and ask them. Um, all right, well, let's ask about the park ghost. What about that ghost in the park? The one from last night? Why didn't we bring her here? First of all, I didn't think you were ready. And secondly, that ghost was too lost and confused. When a ghost is like that, I can't just force the tie into their hands. It won't work, don't ask me why. They have to know they're dead first. Your aunt called it, uh, being spiritually ready. Okay, let's ask about his status. What about you? Can you go through that hole and move on? I wish, darling, but I can't. I've tried before, but it just spits me back out. I'm stuck here, whether I like it or not. Ask about the tie. You're wearing your tie again. How did that happen? Not sure. Near as your aunt and me figured, the tie is just an extension of whatever power brought us here. It's not a real physical tie. Okay. No more than I am a real physical person. But that makes no sense. Look, just accept it, dollface. Forget logic. For you, logic went out the window the day I appeared in your bedroom. There ain't no instruction manual for this. Your aunt and me just figured it out as we went along. Okay, Joey's well-being. Are you okay, Joey? Me? I'm dandy. You don't look alright. Uh, it's just this place. I don't like it. Probably because I don't belong. Maybe someday, but not now. I think I've learned enough. You sure? Yeah. All right, let's get out of here. Okay. Well, this has taken a very unexpected turn. I like it, though. <laughs> Welcome back. Ugh. Take it easy. It's a little disorientating. I'm fine. So what now? Go back to the park and bring her to that place? You got it. And how do we do that? There are three steps. First, we have to find out more about her. Second, we use that information to get through to her, convince her that she's dead. And three, help her move on. Okay, ask about discovering a ghost's identity. How do we find out more about her? She could be anybody. Not necessarily. That picture you got, the one of the three girls? That blonde girl is either the ghost in the park or her twin sister. Okay... You sure? She's a dead ringer. No pun intended. <laughs> okay, the blonde NYU girl. The blonde girl is dead. Looks like it. And this other girl, Joanne. She's dead too. Yep. What's going on? That, my dear, is our bread and butter. What else can we do to learn more about the ghost in the park? The photo, dear, it's the biggest clue we have. Fine. Convincing a ghost that is dead. How do we convince ghosts that they're actually dead? That's the tricky part. Near as I can figure, we need to remind the ghosts who they are. Their death was too traumatic or too violent or too emotional that their little spirit minds snapped. <laughs> so we need to do whatever we can to bring them back to themselves. And how do we do that? Usually by finding something that has a personal significance to them. It could be an object, a piece of information, or even another person. So we need to know more about the ghost in the park. You're a writer, yeah? Think of this as the ultimate character study. 
I'm seeing a lot of parallels between this and Unavowed, actually. Like, it's, it's a similar sort of concept, isn't it, with the finding out who they are. We had, a, like, a couple of ghosts and things we had to identify in that game. I, I really like it. I think it's a cool, cool idea for a game. How do we help a ghost move on? With my magic tie, dear, I give one end to the spook, the other end to you. You pull the ghost in, and you send them on their way. You don't come in with me? No, sorry. That's your job. Fine. All right, well, we've asked about all of that. I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's get going. <laughs> all right, let's get going. All right, then. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, we will leave it there. Um, I like Joey a lot. I think he's going to be a really cool character. I'm looking forward to seeing where this goes from here. I think I feel like this is like the proper game getting started now as well. So, yeah, really excited to play more. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Temley Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, Kumadim, Paul Leon, Flossy the Sheep, JohnCom505, Prissy, Paul James, and Zoltes. And I'll see you next time.